this episode of Transform It Stay Fun. But it went quite well, so. And the goal and the challenge is to make. On to the next session on Wednesday. Oh, hi guys. Um... <laughs> I'm injured. As you saw in the previous video, I've injured my wrist and they told me it was an inflammation. It's still the case that my wrist is still not good and I'm, I'm not able to play. That has a lot of impact on my mental health. I really like playing tennis of course and now I cannot do thing that I love the most so the couple of yeah last two months are yeah not the best uh, I made some real good progression and as you can saw, see in the last video I'm really happy how it went but now yeah I need to work on that uh, I'm not be able to tennis, so it's it's tough. But I will be getting back on the court soon. I hope uh, I'm doing everything in my power to to get fit again. And then, uh, yeah, maar kijk in mijn voedsel of ik daar wat mee kan doen. Dus met de broccoli eten, maar ook met de uh, ja, kurkuma en dat soort dingen aan de slag gaan. Dus uh... uh, I'm taking uh, special medication for inflammation. So yeah. There will always be bumps in the road. This will be mine and I will be back stronger. Uh, so this episode will be about how is my injury going? Uh, what can you do to still get fitter? Uh, I'm watching videos, I'm visiting a tennis uh, tournament and I will also be visiting acu acupuncture to, uh, yeah, to be fit faster, to do everything in my power to get the wrist back up and running again. Enjoy. Last week, I visited the ABN Umbro tennis tournament in Rotterdam. And as you can see on the screen, I've watched a lot of pros train. I had the privilege to be almost on the court with the players and watch what type of shots they were working on. But also I could hear their coaches tell them how to improve. So that gave me a lot of information how to train myself and improve myself as well on the court. I was also watching my food, eating healthy and trying to stay in shape, even though it was a really busy week. But I also was set a challenge to complete that week. Yo, Stefan, it's time for a new challenge. We're currently in Australia on a hike, and we thought, what's better for your mental and physical health than going on a hike? While walking, you make a lot of steps, and you clear your mind and the goal and the challenge is to make 10,000 steps each day. Yeah, it's because it will make you feel better. So good luck with our new challenge and we'll see your post on Instagram. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm still injured in my, on my wrist, still uh, inflamed. So I'm working hard on it to get it back to normal. I'm, I'm doing exercises, but I can't play tennis for a couple of weeks. So now I'm gonna do a run today. So uh, let's go after it because you can still train if you are injured. First session done with uh, with the running. I felt really, yeah, really good. I was, uh, yeah, well, I was not that fast, but it felt okay. I was not that much out of breath. The only thing is that I need to be careful with my knee, so I need to run the steady pace and not too, not too bumpy of roads or something else. So, but it went quite well. So. On to the next session on Wednesday. As you can see, I'm still running. Wait, running? Is that the best exercise for a tennis player? To be honest, I don't think it is. And in the progression program, we share a lot of tennis specific exercises and workouts so you can become a better tennis athlete. But Stefan is having a hard time. He's injured, some personal issues. And I honestly think that if he likes to run, he needs to run because that gives him mental uh, 
confidence, clarity, just a better feeling of himself. But Stefan, for the next month, I will advise you to try an exercise like this, or an exercise like this, or maybe an exercise like this, all right? Where you start to make more change of direction and, and build some strength. Now, if you want to train as a tennis athlete or become a tennis athlete, then make sure that you try the progression program yourself. Now, let's go to Stefan. Come on! As you can see, I'm still running. <laughs> and it goes well. So, you can get it, guys. Let's go. Running helps you to get you towards your goal of reaching 10,000 steps every day. This week, running helped me get a lot. Helped me a lot to get to 10,000 steps every day. Come on, yeah, guys. You can do it as well. So, hi, guys. Um, Really happy at the moment because I've started to play again with my right hand, although it was not that much. I was just hand feeding balls to, to, my, to my students, but I could also play some volleys and I didn't feel my wrist at all. So I'm really happy and, all, and after that I played uh, a little bit of balls myself from the, from the service line. So I'm starting to get better slowly. Uh, and for now I go to acup acupuncture. So I'm slowly making some progression and that's really good for my mental health because I was, I was pretty done with it that I could not play yeah, the game that I love the most. So I have good hopes for, for next month that I maybe can resume training again, uh, maybe from the, from the service line or with softer balls, but I'm happy to be back on the court again. So let's get it.